10 News starts right now. Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yutzi. Here's a look at your top stories on this Tuesday. A driver dangling in the air as her SUV teetered on the edge of a Coral Gables garage. The woman crashing through the third floor wall of a parking garage off of Red Road, accidentally hitting the accelerator instead of the brakes. A tree kept that vehicle from falling to the ground, likely saving her life. Firefighters rappelled down the structure to hoist that driver up by the rope. The woman was taken to the hospital as a precaution, but she is physically okay. More charges could be added for the man behind the second alleged assassination attempt on former President Trump. 58-year-old Ryan Wesley Ruth ordered to remain behind bars after facing a federal judge on Monday. In court, prosecutors shared new evidence, which included the handwritten letter from the suspect stating his intention to kill the former president. Ruth is being held at a federal detention center in Miami. Loved ones remembering the 54-year-old Sakaro Camacho killed after a dispute that ended in gunfire inside a Mexican restaurant. It happened just after 1 a.m. at Antojitos Mexicanos off of Davie Boulevard. Detectives say the shooting stemmed from an argument between Camacho and another man, apparently over a song being played on the restaurant jukebox. Family went looking for the victim when he failed to return home and found his work truck at the crime scene. Police are still searching for the shooter. And a FedEx driver being praised online. Ring video showed him stopping a potential porch pirate. In the video now going viral, you see the delivery driver approached by a man in a gray hoodie who claims to be the homeowner. The driver not buying it, asking him to open the door or show ID. The real homeowner watching it all play out on the ring camera. He said this happened Friday in Hialeah. That delivery driver got a picture of the car the would-be thief was driving and his tag number. As breaking news happens, we will keep you covered on air and online at thelocal10.com throughout the day for more local news coverage and updates.